In this short video, I'm gonna run through three things that you can do within your trade business to prepare yourself for marketing success. Stay tuned. G'day guys, Matt here from Trady Web Guys, and I'm coming at you today with a case study of a client that we're working with over in Kansas City in the United States. These guys came to us initially because I think they heard me on a podcast over in America somewhere. They reached out to us because on that podcast, I was talking about how as trade businesses, we have this unique position and opportunity to be able to present content in a manner that which showcases us as experts. And when you do that, you are not competing with all the other competitors and stuff that you have out there who are playing the noise game. And by noise game, I mean, you know, your traditional marketing things like Google ads and you know, SEO and that kind of stuff. A unique opportunity that you guys have as trade business owners is that there's a huge opportunity there to present yourself as the expert on your trade in your area through creating great content. Anyway, long story short, they came to us. We decided we we're going to put them through our, our foundation program, which is pretty much all we do these days with businesses, we want to make sure that they're fully equipped to be able to make the right marketing decisions looking forward. In this instance, they've got a great business. They've got a great structurally established business. They've got a great team. It's been great working with these guys because they are very responsive and they're really good operators. And well, I'm going to run through a few things that we've done with them as part of the foundation program, just to cast a bit of perspective as to what that might look like within your own business and things that you can tweak there to make sure that you're laying the right foundations and you're moving the needle in the right direction. First and foremost, we typically always start with the website. We want to make sure that that is going to be a true reflection of the business. And we also want to make sure that we can add it to the website as we need to in a way that enables us to showcase work and position the clients as experts in the thing they do. I'll jump quickly across to their old website. You can see here, it's quite dated. They knew it was dated. So they weren't at all surprised when I came to them and I said, hey, listen, version 1.0, we need to get this thing up to speed. So the first thing that we've done is we've rebuilt the website. The reality of that space is it's pretty fast moving. It's always changed changing, it's always evolving. So even if we have clients that we built websites for, you know, five, 10 years ago, you know, even those websites these days, we're rebuilding because technology moves so fast in that space. Their new website looks amazing. And as you can see here above the fold, the thing we've really wanted to dial in is the messaging. And we want to make sure that it looks great. Above the fold, we've got nice photos of them. We've got the message, which is clean and crisp. We want to showcase their testimonials and the reviews. Uh, they're also very good at doing that, which is fantastic. And then we've got some nice new technology here in the website which is bringing it up to speed on what a modern website looks like. Um, a couple of things that I want to talk about in relation to the website, which you guys can do on your own website to define you against your competitors. And the first thing I want to talk about is what are your unique processes? So some of you guys, all of you guys, probably you do things in a certain way, which is unique to your business. Now, because you do them every day, you don't think much of it. But the reality is it's those unique processes which can define and make you stand out from your competition. In this instance, you know, on their website, they had a couple of unique processes which did define them. They had their daily checklist, they had their startup checklist, and then they had their final walkthrough process. Now, these things that they do these all the time, and so they never really thought much about it. But when we're trying to say to them, well, listen, these are things that people actually are interested in because otherwise you end up in a situation where it's like, well, here's their quote, here's your quote, and, and it becomes a price war, you know, and you don't necessarily want to do that. You want to be able to say, well, yeah, we're more expensive, but these are the reasons why. The one thing that I will say to a lot of you guys is don't get sucked into thinking that you need to be ranking and showing up for the popular search terms within your area and within your profession. It's not always the case. In fact, you'll probably find it's very often not the case. If I take these guys, for example, they don't need a huge amount of leads. They need a handful of leads. It's not a numbers game for them. It's a quality game for them. And I would encourage you guys to consider that as part of your marketing strategy. Is it a numbers game or is it a quality game? And the difference, and this is going to sound a bit polarizing to you guys, but the difference is very often that means less leads. And in an ideal world, you are getting less leads, but the ones you're getting are a better quality. So don't fall into that trap because it's super, super important for you guys to understand the power of that. It's not a numbers game, it's a quality game. So the website got built, that was great. All the SEO stuff is fully set up to go and we're gonna be running that campaign for them for the next six months or a year or whatever it is. Also, while we're doing 
doing that, we're gonna be developing a YouTube channel. Now, I actually just did a complete video on this and I'll drop it in the post so you can go and refer to it. We discovered these guys have a hidden talent. I'm not gonna get into it too much, as I said, because I just did a full video on it. But um, these guys are really good at creating content. And as you can see here, we've started optimizing their YouTube channel because we can use this content as a way to improve search and we can use it as a way to keep people on web pages. And so you'll notice that a lot of these videos here, we've actually embedded into their new web pages. And the reason that we do that is because we wanna make sure that if people get to this page, they can watch the video on it. They can see what this page is about. They can see Mike talking about this process. So it's kind of a double-edged sword because it keeps people on the page. It lets people download the checklist and so on and so forth. So it's a really cool way of doing it. So have a think about how that might apply to you guys within your business today and things that you might be able to put on there, which are useful to your customers. So the next thing I want to talk about was how important it was and is for any trade business today to maintain and get the maximum value out of their contact. Now you've heard of CRM and all that kind of stuff in the past, and you've heard of customer lifetime value, but you may not have heard of contact lifetime value. And this is what we like to focus on mostly over at Trading Web Guys, our trade specific contact management system, which is called of the hub. And you can check that out. We'll put a link to it in this post as well. Tradyhub.net is the, is the URL. But essentially we want to make sure that whatever lead comes into that business, whatever contact comes into that business, whether it's a phone call, an SMS, a Facebook message, an email, whatever, we want to make sure that it's captured and tracked. This customer is especially, you know, they want to have a, have a centralized location where they can see every single lead and every single contact and every single communication that's coming into their business and everyone can access it within that organization. So there's no confusion as to who said what to who and, and when and how. We set them up with the hub and as a result of doing that, we've been able to build out some amazing email nurture campaigns and we've also been able to, and we will be able to also incorporate these awesome videos that they've done into some of those nurture campaigns too. That's been, that's going to be very useful to them because what that means is we now have a system in place which can help us nurture those contacts through them becoming a lead, a prospect, a client, and then a repeat client. I really want to drive that message home, guys. Make sure that you are leveraging and nurturing your existing contacts that live within your database. And if you're not, you have a lot of opportunity there for you to do so. So please do that. So all in all, this has been a fantastic project for us and the client. We've been able to work on some really significant needle moving foundational parts of the business, which is the whole concept and the whole idea behind the foundation program. And if you want more information on that, just head across to tradywebguys.com.au, reach out to us through the contact form. Off the back of it, we've been able to discover and I suppose pull the veil back on this hidden talent that this business has in the space of content creation. And they've got this passion now to really double down on it, which is brilliant. And we're so happy that we've been able to help the client uncover this and really bring this to the forefront of their of their mind because it's their customers that are going to benefit from this as well as themselves. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I hope that was useful. Please, if you haven't yet, turn your notifications on and make sure you subscribe to this channel. We do a lot of this stuff now and we want to make sure that we're giving you as much information and that it's hitting your YouTube playlist when we do. Uh, also, over at the website, if you want to subscribe and head across to our newsletter, please go and do that. There's links to that all over the um, front page. Again, we're just sending out all of our useful podcasts, all of our useful content like this, lessons learned. There's going to be downloads. There's going to be cheat sheets. There's going to be all this kind of stuff and we're just going to make it as useful to you guys as we can. It's completely relevant to the trades and uh, we'd love for you to be part of that. Anyway, that's all from me. Have yourselves a wonderful day and we'll chat again soon.